The RIT women's hockey team began its season last weekend with a 2-0 victory and a 1-1 tie against Holy Cross. The win was significant not only because it was head coach Chad Davis's first here at RIT, but it also snapped a 25-game winless streak for the program dating back to last November. I was excited as a player. I mean, it was a first for a lot of us. We had, uh, you know, uh, a couple of freshmen score and, and but, it, you know, I know it had been a while since they've had that feeling of the reward of the hard work and the dedication and it's something uh, I won't forget. I'm standing in the hallway and uh, with Mr. Spiotti and, uh, you know, they were excited. They're ecstatic about it. We want to carry that energy. We want to put it in a bottle and, and move forward. But, uh, you know, we're day to day. We're, uh, we got to live in the moment and we know we have a next opponent and as great as that was, uh, we got to work hard so we can get that feeling again. It was definitely great to break that losing streak, but at the same time, um, that's always hanging over our shoulders. If we let up at this point, it could really easily start back up again. So it's just as important now as ever just to keep pushing it and make sure that we don't slip back into that this year. What's been the most challenging thing? Uh, the most challenging thing, you know, there's a lot of challenges when you start. You know, it's trying to learn the personality, what what motivates each player, and for the player, getting to know their coach. You know, how do they work with their coach? How do they communicate with their coach? And just work together as a team. But you know, that's the biggest challenge is just uh, getting them to believe in in themselves. It is a transition. Um, everyone starts out at the same level now, so it's a. a good refresher so everyone's pretty much a freshman right now we're all earning minutes so everyone has to work that much harder um, and then for coach like he brings a whole new set of uh, plans for us like we do more power play now um, we do more line stuff and it just really makes a difference having a new set of uh, kind of rules for everybody to follow. The Tigers head to St. Cloud State this weekend before returning home to the Policini Center for Brick City Homecoming Weekend, where they'll play Union in a pair of games on October 19th and 20th. For RIT Sports Zone, I'm Kevin Roach.